fish and chips, without doubt the nation's favourite. So I'm going to challenge you to do something different. I'm going to do the fish and chips that I love, which incorporates traditional fish and chips with my other love, curry. So I'm going to do a poppadom crusted Norwegian frozen at sea haddock with curried chickpeas and salsa made from fennel, red onion, coriander. Something very different, but bringing all that flavour back for traditional fish and chips. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make my ceviche of fennel and red onion. So I want to get those sliced super thin. I'm just going to take that as thin as I can go so it cures down really quick with some lime juice and coriander. That's perfect. So that's going to go in there. And now we've got our fennel as well going nice and thin. We're going to use just a little bit of lime juice. And just before we serve that, I'm going to just mix some coriander and some seasoning fruit as well. Uh, so next up is my chickpeas. So I've got some cooked chickpeas. I've got some curry sauce and some fresh coriander. And I'm just going to bind these together. And this is going to be my sort of take on the mushy peas. So we're going to warm up our chip shop curry sauce and then drop in with our chickpeas. Thickening up the curry sauce. So for me, the go-to sauce with fish and chips has always been the proper chip shop curry sauce. It's always curry sauce and mushy peas for me. So combining the two, this time chickpeas with the curry sauce, is a perfect element to my dish. Part of my garnish is just going to be a burnt lime. So we're just going to get that caramelised onto my stove and then we're going to cook our fish. So we've got our beautiful frozen at sea Norwegian haddock and I'm just now going to uh, pané this. So first of all, we're going to season it and I'm going to use some curry salt. Don't want to have too much because it's going to bring all the moisture out. So very last moment on the salting. Into our flour. And then I've got an egg mixture with a little bit of coconut milk in there. Draining that off. And then we've got ready to cook poppadoms that I've just crushed down, which I'm using for the pane, for the, for the breadcrumb slash batter. Just blended down pieces of poppadom. So then when I fry it, I have this amazing crispiness all around the fish. Into our oil. Normal frying procedure, 180 degrees. So, plating up, we've got our curry chickpeas. I'm just going to add a touch of coriander to that. Mix that through, just serve in a nice pile. Just let it sit on there, lovely. And then we have our ceviche, which I'm going to add a pinch of the curry salt. So this is broken down from the lime juice, so it's going to be a pinker. And then we've got our burnt lime. And then we're just going to finish now with the star of a dish. Frozen at sea, haddock that's been cooked in poppadoms. So just to lay on the traditional fish and chips, chickpeas and curry sauce, a ceviche of fennel and red onion, blackened lime and curry salt. So this is the thing with fish and chips. You can really push the boat out, do something different, get ideas going and try something new.